happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the realistic Portavision 60. This is an AM FM TV band portable radio. You can find these selling on eBay between 30 to 50 bucks. 30 gets you kind of a beat up one, 50 gets you a nicer one. I'd go for the $50 version if you like this radio. It's There's a lot to like. I'm enjoying it. Uh, personally, I didn't pay a penny for this. What? <laughs> yes, this was donated by David B. Thank you, sir. A supporter of this channel. He sent it to me. Said I like this radio. Nice mint example. Real happy to get it. Thank you, sir. You rock. So here it is, the Portavision 60. Built in uh, August 1986. Yeah, I found some date codes on the enclosure. So very cool when I took it apart. Um, so yeah, neat uh, 80s type radio and a lot of fun. Too bad we don't have the TV analog audio anymore. That would have been cool. Uh, but we still do have the AM and FM, which work really well on this radio. And it is nice to own. It's got some character to it. I like it. So let's go over dimensions of this bad boy. Uh, we are nine and a quarter inches from this side to this selector knob here. Uh, with the handle, you can't see it's a big radio, so I can have it frame here. With the handle extended, we have a total of nine inches in height, or when the handle's fully flush, because it folds flat, uh, it is seven and a quarter inches. So nine or seven and a quarter, beautiful. And then, of course, our width is three and a quarter inches. That includes to the front tuning knob. Very nice. So let's do a quick size comparison, give you an idea for size. I always have my standard c crane radios. Here's CC Pocket, our AM FM weather alert portable radio. Love it. Current time is 11.18 p.m. Central Daylight Time, and I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA. Next, we have a frequency checker. If we have time, I'll use this. If not, you know, we'll just breeze through the bands. I have a going to do a dedicated medium wave band scan daytime and evening. I always do on these radios when they perform well. This performs very well. Uh, but here's your CC Skywave, uh, AM, FM, air, shortwave, and weather alert. So very nice radio. I like having that one. Good for helping me locate frequencies. And of course, last but not least, we have a deck of cards in case you don't have those two radios. It's the Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves poor divisions from realistic land that no longer exists. It sunk like Atlantis. Oh no. <laughs> Too bad it's gone. Man, it was so cool to walk into those places and just go buy this radio. Isn't that neat? <laughs> the bygone days. I remember it was like a, a Sony shop as well. You could walk in and get a Sony radio. It was just awesome. Sony TV, whatever you wanted. It's excellent stuff. Uh, so let's uh, talk about the features of the Portavision 60. Um, now that we get the size out of the way. So we'll look at this. It's built really well. They built them nice in the 80s. Uh, we have nice, uh, like a matte gray back to it. we got this like nice design element here. Leading to the front, we got a metal speaker grill. And our dial, it's kind of hard to read. It's one thing I don't like about it. It's kind of fine and it's really light. But if you angle it a certain way, you can pick it up. If you see, we got the five bands here. We've got UHF on top, channel 14 to channel 83. Nice, that we can't pick up anymore. Now I tuned it. Because everybody says, well, can you get anything? No. Uh, I get digital signals, though, on a UHF. Uh, TV2, um, you got your 7 to 13. Of course, TV1, 2 to 6. All right. And you got FM, standard 88 to 108. And AM uh, is 520 to 1610. Now, this radio actually tunes up to 1640, which is fantastic. So you get a little extra uh, on the AM band. Um, also, performance-wise, it's excellent in FM and AM. I'm really impressed. Uh, so here we have the name, Port Division 60. I like this because it kind of reminds me of the Patrolman 60 and the other ones. Yeah. Here we have our 4-inch speaker. Um, I would like to clean that speaker cone because it's kind of fuzzy, like with dust over the ages. But to get to this speaker, there was like the PCB behind it with the dial string attached. And I didn't want to start messing with the dial string, so I just kind of left it alone. <laughs> so we, I just got it open and looked inside. Saw the internal AM ferret antenna, which is a nice 4-inch bar. Not a bad looking antenna, um, so it does get some good polling power for the AM band. So there's our speaker. We got a tuning knob here right on the front. Very nice. 
I move it around, but it's locked in right now at Radio Totterbert, which we're going to listen to in a little bit. We have tone control and our volume on off switch. Uh, vo tone pretty much leave it on the high side. This is the best setting. Um, these are still scratchy a little bit, so bear with me. Um, I tried a deoxic fader formula on these. They're not really serviceable. You have to try to pry them apart. I didn't want to try prying them apart. They're like metal like ears. You got to bend them back, and I didn't want to break anything, so I just kind of left them alone. I tried to get a little bit. There's a little hole you can access point uh, for the volume. It helped a little bit, but now it's uh, scratchy again. So it's not too bad, but just letting you know. Um, it's a, hard to service those two knobs. Going to the right side here, we have our selector. Bands, we got our FM right now. We got AM on the top there, or, or bottom, excuse me, and TV, TV, and UHF. So what you do is you just turn it, and of course we have a little orange indicator that moves with it. Oh yeah, looks pretty cool. Nice and smooth. And there's that one was... No big deal. I didn't have to clean that. That was no issue with that switch. So very cool. And going to the top of the radio, we have our built-in handle, which is metal. Awesome. You don't see that every day. Our whip antenna, which is 27 inches when extended. Excuse me, not 27 inches. <laughs> I would. I think it's 26. No, it's 27. It is 27. Okay. I thought it was uh, a little shorter, but yeah, 27 inches. Awesome. Gave us excellent FM reception. Uh, so yeah, loving that. And now let's go to the back. In the back of the radio, we have a warning first. Don't open it up, but I did. I took the risk. Um, <laughs> frequency ranges, as you can see, what I told you. Right? And it runs on 4C batteries or AC. That's amazing, which I forgot to show you that. Yeah, it's right down here. Um, there's a switch. So you switch it up when you want to do AC. Click it down when you want to run on batteries. And, of course, we have an earphone jack, probably single ear only. Yeah, I missed showing you that. But uh, yeah, very cool that it has a built-in transformer and its own cord. Yes. Back in the day where you didn't have to worry about searching for a cord. It was attached to the radio. And it's inside a little bay there. Nice. 4C batteries or AC power. Nice thing about AC power is it's nice and clean. Transformer produces nice, clean power. No RFI produced by the radio. That's just how they did it back then, which I wish they'd still do. But there's all these laws in place for switching power supplies. <laughs> so, okay, so we're done with that. We're going to run a demo here in a second. Uh, I kind of want to talk about FM, re FM reception before we dive into the turning it on and tuning it around. Uh, so FM reception, I like to base it on a five-tier method. Fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Uh, most radios like this, I expected an okay to good rating, which is about 48 to 50 stations found in my area. And... Uh, this radio was above average. I was pretty impressed, probably because of the extra length of the antenna. Um, and there's an interesting, like, mini dipole set up in there. I don't know if that's for the VHF portion, you know, the TV parts. But I noticed, like, on the inside, it had a black ground wire coming off the FM antenna going to the board. Probably maybe for a UHF connection. I don't know. And then it had another wire going nowhere. So it had, like, this little dipole set up, like a J-pole. It was interesting, or an L-pole. Backwards L, something like that. <laughs> but it was interesting. Gave me great FM reception. So this one got a 70 stations found. That's amazing. It gave it a good to very good rating or three and a half star. Well above average for an analog radio. Hopefully get to demo that in this video. And selectivity was also rated good because I was finding faint stations next to strong stations. Even though this has an AGC circuit, automatic, excuse me, not AGC, AFC, automatic frequency control on FM. And what that means, it latches on stronger stations. But this one's kind of a not as aggressive. So when I was turning through the FM stations, it was letting me find the fainter stations when I was leading up to a stronger station. So that was nice. So there's our FM. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll turn it on. We'll do Radio Totterbert. Radio Totterbert is on 97.7. There we are. Yeah, a little scratchy here, but that should get better with me going back and forth. So Radio Totterbert, yeah, what's happening here? This is YouTube royalty-free music being broadcasted by my FM Transmitter 2 over here on my desk. See cranes? 97.7, hooked up to a MP3 player, playing this royalty-free music. Here it is. I'll put it side by side so you can see what's going on. Let's jam out for a few minutes.
six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, no, it's a uh, you have to use the volume a whole lot, then just kind of leave it alone. But yeah, it's uh, a little scratchy, still to bug at me. <laughs> but uh, what I'm thinking about doing is um, taking and wrapping the area up with some plastic and uh, maybe some cloth just to protect the board and everything around it, and maybe just saturating the the pot and having it soak into there. I think it's gonna be the best way with the fader formula um, to get these pots clean. It's the only way. The tone, I'm not sure because that one seemed pretty sealed. But the volume definitely had openings in it, um, and that probably take care of my problem. Okay, so we're going to turn off Radio Tatterbert. Let's uh, do some FM band scan. Yeah, I always like to do that now if I can. So we're going to turn everything off. Yeah, okay, so we're going to hook up a wire here. Now the wire is to my window blinds. It's like a 12-foot wire here. Actually, I'm going to look that up so I don't smash anything. This will give us a little extra reception to get us out of the subfloor basement. It only runs to my window, inside of my window. There we go, so we can pick up. Let's see, can I open this up still? Yeah, I can. Alrighty. So we'll go to the bottom of the band, and we'll just go up the band here, and we'll see what we can pick up on the FM, and we'll see what we can do on AM. Now, like I said, the AM, there's quite a bit, and the AM's amazing. Um, and AM band, I'll have dedicated videos to, so. Um, but yeah, 1986, what happened in 1986? Bears. Chicago wins the Super Bowl. Awesome. <laughs> they were doing the Super Bowl shuffle. If you've never seen that video, search it on YouTube. Hilarious. Chicago Bears 1986 Super Bowl shuffle. <laughs> You'll be like, what the heck is this stuff? Yeah. All right, so starting at the bottom of the band. I was upstairs under the band scan and just used the regular antenna, and I didn't have to move the radio much. It picked up everything. It's amazing. Smooth analog tuning. I can't hover on the music. That was a good song. And just let us just be kids and, and, and not look at the clock. And A little bit of AFC go, happening there. Enjoy nature. And so that's, I, I think we're, we're just have to get... Young in London. Coming up this half hour, we're going to look at the issues that are leading many Kenyans to protest on the streets. I will also be asking if the Commonwealth Games are still relevant to Africans today. Uh, George Adams. Jesus Christ. I 
again, short down. and the Chicago Symphony Orchestra and Chorus. Hamilton, love the deals. Styles and selections may vary by player. It was magic, yeah. Smash and grab, yeah. Younger man is 22. I had so much FOMO seeing all the errors towards I want to see Taylor live so bad. That one's Cruel Summer from my... And the price that works best for you, and then show your GoodRx coupon. It stays. Next thing you know, you save money like never. Sponsorem jest Proeco Life, firma instalująca systemy do oczyszczania wody. Whoa, that was packed full of radio stations. I told you it was awesome. This thing sounds good, too. Holy cow. I can't hover on the music, guys, but otherwise I would have. There's so many good songs playing. Huh. I love it. Okay, so we're going to go back to the bottom of the band here. And uh, yeah, you can kind of hear the dial string a little bit there. A little tension on there. So it's going nice and easy here. Again, it's almost 40 years old. <laughs> um, 37? Yeah. I made this video, so depending on when you're watching this. So we're going to go to the AM band. Start at the bottom. We're going to disconnect that antenna because it uses the internal 4-inch bar. So we'll take that off. Awesome. All right, cool. We'll see what we can pick up here on the AM band, then we'll call it. So our first station... I think it's 540 here. WAK, Jackson, Wisconsin. So if I turn it to the north, it should come in better. Just, uh, just let them get to know each other. I must kind of address challenges as we see them. And crime went down 29% in three years. Wow. And, wow. and, and in big, not in, were there, was there still? I, I agree. But, you know, Mosaic, he's gone through two managers now. He's on his third. Yeah. I, maybe the problem isn't the managers. Maybe it's him. Well, I've never seen, you know, I, I, I know they hired Matheny uh, for whatever reason. They fired him mid-season. I know they hired Schultz for whatever reason. They, right. you know, Sky he, wave out. He, you know, he was a nudge, and so they, they, were, they were like, look, he's just annoying, so they fired him. That's coming in clear. It's uh, KTRS, uh, yeah, yeah. St. Yeah. Louis, but Missouri, when, when Tony Russo, 275 miles, 5,000 miles. People who didn't like Tony LaRusso because he wasn't Whitey yeah, Herzog. Well, it's not that I don't like him. I just don't think he's doing a good job. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't see so, I don't see how you blame Oliver Mar Marmol for uh, Jordan Hicks throwing the you know airmail of the ball over the first goal. Indicted, yeah, indicted in Joshua. He was so upset that it was Sunday night while he's home reading his upside down Bible. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is five sixty. The answer W I N D Chicago. He's so religious. He's so... Oh, it's pathetic. The worst thing for a, a, a defendant or a prospective defendant is to get that target letter. You either want to cooperate or you want to... The 
pick up some faint signals here, but we're going to chase after some strong ones because we don't have all day to spend on this, so... Probably picking up 590, 600 WMT. Here's 620, WTMJ. Um, you know, just get, give yourself a little bit of breathing room here. And then, just make it a game. This is on Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 52 miles north, 10,000 watts at night. Here in your voice, I, I don't want that for you. Or for you. I want you guys to just enjoy your run. And just enjoy this I ride. Think that Um, KYFI 630 St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles, 5,000 watts. Usually it's country music in this direction and St. Louis there, but since we're pretty close, we're picking up KYFI since St. Louis is coming in clear tonight. Couple mixing stations. I think we're getting WOI Ames, Iowa, and we're also getting WMFN Piatone, Illinois. Interesting. When millions of jobs were lost, and obviously the very extended elections last year. This sounds like Ohio. WOI Ames, Iowa. I'm sorry, Iowa. Uh, 640, this is 265 miles, 1,000 watts to the west. Her birthday of all things, Casey Tendo at the Opry on Wednesday night. And Ron Corher in studio visit the live performance. Win them before you can buy them. A ticket winning opportunity for Tracy Lawrence in May of next year. They go on sale Friday morning at 10 o'clock. And then qualify for our WSM summer getaway. Two nights here at Gaylord Opry Land, our studio home. And admission to sound waves. WSM 650, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles to the south. Lots more. Kelly Sutton Entertainment. Charlie Maddox is here. I'm Bill Cody. Coffee Country and Cody. WSM Radio at 525. New time on Circle Television, 6 a.m. Central at 7 o'clock in the East. That happens Wednesday. The Americana Music Festival and Conference is National. Sometimes I can get lucky and get 660, but it's pretty hard because 650 strong in this direction and 670 strong in that direction and 660 is this direction. <laughs> so, all right, let's go to 670. See why four out of five employers who post the job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Now try ZipRecruiter. 670 the score, WCR, Chicago. ZipRecruiter.com slash It's kind of quiet. WLW, 700, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. Flooding in the Mid South and saturated Northeast and New England. Calvin, don't you hate it when they make oh something God. like that and it's just for a brief period of time and then they take it away? Yeah, well, it used to be on the menu all the time. Right, but then it went away. away. That's right. And then they would bring it back, you know. Your 720, WGN, uh, Chicago. Right, it's got a nice fullness to this yeah, speaker. Wow, this is amazing. On their menu. And chili cheese burrito. It, it sounds. Uh, it sounds lovely. Like... It's coming in good. CFCM 740, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles to the northeast. Is still technically getting paid by the government. It's not money that he's paying out of his own pocket. WSB, Atlanta, Georgia, I believe, 630 miles to the southeast, 750. Thanks to, well, his years of government service, all of the kickbacks from the pharmaceutical companies and his book deal. And Rand Paul wants to remind others. They tend to be destructive of the society around them. Yep. Again, male... 
This guy here is always on WGR 760, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. If you think I talk fast, this dude rocks. <laughs> working on themselves and, and breaking themselves down. Okay, well, if you wish to cure all of that, we are going to take a break. When we come back, the Chronicles of God is part and more of your telephone calls from Holland to Carroll to Brooklyn, we will be right back. Barely heard that. I barely heard WABC there. I don't know if you guys heard it. Um, he did say Harlem. Um, New York, New York, 750 miles. This is hard to get because we're between 760 and 780. A guaranteed fit. When you see the check, you know that part's going to fit. Air filters, brakes, WBB, <coughs> WBBM on 780, Chicago. Get the right parts at the right prices. eBay Motors. I'm just going to kind of cruise up the band and we'll stop. Exclusion supply. It's 1145. It is the right time. Cool. You pick up a lot in the evening, of course. But daytime performance rocks too. Small business champion with teams dedicated to maximizing. In another area. Yeah. To play catch up to hustlers who find ways to beat the system and not pay fares, which is why the agency is having a WCBS 880 New York, New York. Have begun making adjustments to the turnstile mechanism to keep people from a maneuver called back cocking the fare gate, pulling back. Detach from emotions and be. I'd pass the corner right by the gem spot. Be comfortable. Christ's general reaction to unjust. Yeah, I, I mean, it's just a broken record. All of that blue pill. Justify in front of Jim Jordan and the Judiciary Committee. Etc. Under. She's trying to. To try liver health formula and receive a free bottle of Hey, Jim, Toronto. We'll stop right there. 1610 CHHA Toronto. Cool. Okay. So, yeah, if you want to see daytime uh, and medium wave band scans, just Subscribe to the bell icon, get notified of those videos. Hope you like this one. Poor Division 60, thank you, David, again, for this awesome radio. Um, if you're looking for a classic, go ahead and check out the links below and pick yourself up one. I think you'll love it. Um, smooth analog tuning, and, and you got the DC or AC operation, you got FM, AM, both sounding fantastic on here. Uh, like I said, you could probably get the volume cleaned up if you're just a scratchy like mine. Tone might be a little harder, but I'll be honest with you, tone set right around this area here is good for most everything. Going any further down, it just gets a little too low. So right about there is like a perfect setting for most things. So there it is. I love it. This thing's fantastic. Uh, it's all 80s, and it just looks good, too. Get yourself a mint example for sure. Um, subscribe at the bell icon. Get notify future realistic reviews i'm always on the lookout and three comment below what you think about the port division 60 would you still pick it up even though you can't pick up your analog tv stations anymore and you just got these two little bands left be curious to want to hear what your opinions are all right thanks for watching guys take care and we'll see you in my next video